Calvary greetings to you all, my brothers and my sisters. Once again, happy new month. There is a message here that you don't want to miss by Apostle Joshua Sema. Listen and be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Challenges are proof that you are moving forward. If you are not driving a car, it does not enter any pothole. If you are not driving a car, you will never face traffic. A car that is stagnant and not moving does not have any challenge. Am I, am I, am I talking to you? Yes. Many of you, the challenges that you face on the way is proof that there is motion happening in your life. And every time you face challenges, rather than pretending around it, hiding it, and wasting time, confront it headlong and be victorious over it, jump that hurdle and keep moving okay you started a business and the business crashed you made a mistake and gave your money to 419ers for how long are you going to cry use the money you lost as your school fees in the school of wisdom you see the thing about the school of wisdom is the moment you graduate your school fees is given back to you no matter how much you spend listen i want you to believe what i am telling you anything that comes as a loss while learning convert it to your school fees in the school of wisdom there's no time now i know better now i can learn better let me reposition myself there are people today when you ask them why their lives are like that they will say 1991 i was a pastor this pastor thing you are doing we did it all something rain came and washed our church and then when that happened and robbers came and stole my car and my bible is that why till today 2023 you are not rising is that a valid excuse whereas in that same journey there are people when they started they lost their father they lost their mother they lost their loved ones they lost whatever it is in the midst of it they said i will wear it destiny till i become are we together yes oh I, I don't have money to go for the conference but i must find a way to follow it thank god for internet please let me meet a friend and plead with him i'm on my way becoming i should have been at a conference i don't have the money can you help me with two thousand naira let me try and get you know materials from that conference and i will listen to that is the the determination listen challenges i repeat are not unusual you are not just because people don't tell you their challenges ah this man is so easy things just happen like that no sir no sir no sir no sir no sir are we together challenges are not unusual the bible says in sec in second corinthians 2 14 please give it to us i hope god is speaking to someone second corinthians 2 14 now thanks be unto god which always causeth us to triumph in christ is that in your bible and make it manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place if you had seen us the first time we held crusade the first time when we organized a crusade if they ever told you that this is what this ministry will become you will not imagine it imagine going for a crusade and you do not even have money to pay the place where people will stay you heard the story we hired sound people from kaduna and you can imagine owing and shouting on a crusade ground jesus heals jesus delivers and the people you are owing are after you finish all that miracle and you know the thing with people they come and receive and go and leave you the god that sent you and brought you let him vindicate you apostle but i started a church i was so vibrant in my vision i saw a thousand people first service only me and my wife my friend my friend continue i encourage you in the lord continue continue provided is god that led you but apostle how have all the money that i spend publicizing is not publicity that brings men it's a track record in the spirit you continue god is giving you a beautiful story you are trying to rob yourself of pray together with your wife let her be the choir director you are the preacher if you drop offering she will count it think of how beautiful that story will be when god makes your ministry global yes sir yes sir challenges are not unusual 
apostle god gave me a word that in three months i'm going to build my house now is one year my house was not built accept it as a deficiency in your hearing that was not god just see that you're a student in the school of hearing you are growing instead of doing and say god but you said this don't make a fool of your understanding just say i can hear god better forgive yourself for not hearing well and now start hearing well and and if you cannot hear well borrow the ears of those who have through faith and patience have developed hearing that works you can borrow the ears of others while your own is being trained is someone learning i'm doing something to your mind today you will leave this place a sign and a wonder believe me challenges are not unusual apostle do you know you are just speaking about my case i trekked from home to come here we have trekked before this man you are seeing i trekked so it is not um it, don't it's not even an affliction it's just the law of seasons don't it's not an affliction at all hallelujah that's too small to be called an affliction the devil will not afflict you with that cheap thing if the devil wants to afflict you you will bring something that is serious trek with honor shabako siata and you are trekking for koinonia and while you are saying that you are saying this is a testimony in the name of jesus christ you will trek and sit outside and one day light from heaven will land on your head and from that place you will rise to become a champion and people will see your life and say you are so lucky then tell them sit down let me tell you how luck works that one day i trek with no food apostle how about me who has not eaten it's so sad God will raise comfort for you. But my friend, do not leave your training because of that. Don't call things problems. Call them challenges. Do you believe what, what I'm saying? Apostle, I was invited for a meeting. I prayed and fasted. When I got there, I even forgot the anchor scripture. And I preached all kinds of things. Nobody was looking at... I mean, while they were looking at me, I thought I did something wrong. I didn't know that I was not making sense. I was just my sermons. I was preaching. The goal was to preach on faith. I ended up preaching on something else. Don't worry. Make your mistakes with honor. That will become your testimony. It's a ladder you are rising upon. Hallelujah. Run away from people who never met challenges on their path to greatness. You are standing before a risk, a big risk. Challenges qualify people to be able to mentor and raise others. We teach people from pain, not just victory. Victory is what brings people but pain is what let no man trouble me is it not in your bible for i bear in my body before you listen to people tell them show me your scars a testament of endurance a testament do you know there was a time in my life i did everything right till today with what i know i know i did everything right it was just not the season for manifestation nothing there was nothing wrong as far as i know sincerely so you are saying apostle i've done everything right everything you are saying is what i'm doing my brother continue if the cloud be full of rain they empty themselves continue the giving man of god keep praying keep praying apostle but should i start ministry because there's the pressure even though the voice of god has not come stay there and remain the ones i've trained i've started ministry you stay there the blueprint of your destiny is not the same but the day his voice comes it will come with majesty and it will lift you and compensate you for your obedience you believe that shout aloud amen, amen. Hmm. number six <laughs> Are you ready belief system number six this world is a world of men therefore advancement is based on relationships the sixth mindset you must have this world write it down please is a world of men this world is a world of men therefore advancement is based on relationships if you do not sustain this mindset respectfully speaking you will fail in patterns this world is a world of men therefore 
advancement is based on relationships psalm 115 and verse 6 let's hurry up psalm 116 and 15 and verse 6 verse 16 i meant to say psalm 115 verse 16 the heaven even the heaven of heavens are the lord's read with me the remaining part please but the earth has he given to the children of men one more time but the earth has he given to the children of men the earth as far as the activities within the cosmos is concerned i have told you destiny actualization is men dependent not only god dependent when you are functioning in the realm of the spirit you do not need men but ladies and gentlemen please hear me you want to walk in victory you must understand the dynamics of relationships as far as actualizing destiny is concerned this was a tragedy of the man at the pool of bethesda john 5 6 and 7 jesus comes to the man and he saw him there and knowing he had been there a long time said unto him will thou be made whole hear the man's reply seven the impotent man answered and said i have no man in other words i did not invest in relationships it is not because the water cannot heal it says when the water is troubled to put me into the pool but while i am coming another who has relationships will step in before me relationships are very powerful this world is a world of men it's a revelation that when i caught changed my life when i pray to god i also pray to him to touch men listen to me ladies and gentlemen the house that you are trusting god for is not in heaven it's in the earth the keys are in somebody's hand right now the job that you are trusting god for the assignment of god as the father of spirit is to manipulate the hearts of men to be ready to walk his purposes in your life your assignment is to use the wisdom of relationships to connect everything multiplies on the basis of relationship plants and animals